Oh boy, we're gonna try again. If at first, or second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, you don't succeed, keep on doing the Tinker's Cube thing. I opened my window too so I can get some fresh air in here. Felt a little stuffy. All right. Still don't know what I'm doing here. God, my head's really, like, banging. All right. Nylea the Keen-Eyed. Helm of the Host seems really good. Am I crazy? I don't think so. Nyx Herald, Infinity of Combat. Target Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one, and Trample. Or an enchantment creature. Yeah, I'm taking Helm of the Host. Lord of Extinction has been good every time our opponents have it. I think we just take Lord of Extinction. Hmm. Is that window open too loud? There's definitely some noise going on out there. Incubation Druid also fine. I don't know what Iron Crag Feed is doing. I kind of just want Lord of Extinction, man. I've lost Lord of Extinction twice. I mean, like, in this format, there's... It, it, removal's kind of at a premium. Oh, Multani is bananas. I also like Affectionate Indrik. Beanstalk Giant's pretty dece. I think we're just taking Multani. Multani seems very, very good. Affectionate Indrik's also really good, too. But Multani's, like, real hard to deal with. Does he have Trample? He does have Trample. Except for that dude that had seven removal spells in a row. That's true. I kind of like Agonizing Remorse. I mean, it's better than Bastion. It's better than Fauna Shaman. It looks like we're green-black here. And Remorse is just good. Black Blade Reforged. It's very good on both of the creatures we have. <laughs> uh, Chromatic Lantern also is kind of nice. Hmm. Ashiok seems pretty bad. Primal's good. Alright, we'll take Primal. You know what? Sure. I kind of like Champion of Lambholt, actually. Prophetic Prism is also pretty nice. Merfolk Skydiver's kind of fine. Eternal Skylord's good if we are if we are soul tying. What? <laughs> Excuse me. I think it's Prophetic Prism. It just fixes your mana.
Oh, find finality seems great in this format. I'm going to take that. We did not take champion, Timothy. It makes bad mana good and good mana great. Yeah, I'm always... I'm actually surprisingly impressed with uh, with Prophetic Prism every time I see it. Ooh, breeding pool? Breeding pool? More like perfect pool. Whatever that means. <sighs> Woodland cemetery? More like perfect cemetery. Yeah. Um, Stitcher Supplier is cute, but I don't really care unless we're, like, reanimating things. More like Goodland Cemetery. Dang it! Duh! Oh, yeah, that was, that would have been, that would have been better. Dang it. Wow. Oh, Indra came back? Oh, boy. Feeling good. Eternal Skylord came back? Boy, they're just giving us all the cards we want. That's baller. What is precognition field? Isn't this card terrible? Look at the top card. You may cast an instant sorcery from the top. Yeah, alright. I don't care about that. Oh, Brokos again? I don't think we're a plus one, plus one counter deck. We do have Primal Empathy. It is interesting with a mass. Oh, there is an Oracle of Moldiah. I bet Brokos comes back because... I mean, Biocourt Space Godzilla. My bad. Yeah, we're definitely taking Oracle here. Oracle is like vintage cube level power. So you just like... You just take it. Command the Dread Horde. That's fascinating. I also kind of just like negate. But again, we'd have to main deck it because... There's no sideboarding. Crossand Tusker is probably fine. I don't think it's Pell Collector. Pell Collector seems pretty bad. Come on, Timothy. I expect better from you. What about Proliferate? Hmm. I kind of just want Tusker. Oh, two temple, two on-color temples. I bet. The, I bet one of them comes back. Well, we don't have a black-blue land, so let's take that, and we'll hope Temple of Mystery comes back. Nope. Negex, Negex, sure. Piper, Woe Strider. Three drops are a little low. We can take Woe Strider here. Actually, Piper is probably good. Piper is actually a good way to remove creatures, too. In the sense of, like, I can steal your guy. Farika's spawn's not bad. I don't mind Brontodon. Yeah, Brontodon seems good. Golos is interesting. My mouse just died. So I have to quickly plug it in. Before I... We did it. Callus Dismissal is also an option? I like Golos.
Voracious Typhoon. 4 4 4 4. You can escape it, and then it's a 7 7. That's probably the best option here. Kazmina's cute. Actually, Kazmina might be better. I do like Kazmina a lot. War is coming. I will not be unprepared. Mm, Gorger's fine because we didn't take the other guy. What does this guy do? Enters battlefield. Search search library for a card, put it in your graveyard, shuffle your library. Suppose you cast from your request one less. I actually kind of like this guy. Brokos came back. All right, come on, temple number two. Temple of mystery. Someone, someone took it. Because they hate fun. I want to take negate. Oh, uh, vicious offering's actually fine. Chillbringer. so that it's not just like picking up residual oh now it's in the get it away from the window oh man you can actually bin Multani that's actually pretty sweet yeah we could also put the Brokos in there uh the do we take the other dude I don't think so Murmuring Mystic. Uh, Hinterland Harbor seems great and kind of better than any of these other cards. Don't care about Bolas of Citadel. Don't care about Garen Brig, Opt, Woodland. Yeah, we'll just take the... We'll take the Fixer. Look at him working. Lives in a dream. I kind of like Evolution Sage. Like being able to proliferate onto like things like Kazmina or Primal Empathy creatures. It actually could go a long ways. I don't know why Field is in this cube. It's actually kind of weird. So here's the thing. We have four lands that aren't going to be basics, plus the three basics, so that's seven different types. Field would mean we have eight total types in our entire deck that have different names. Really not great. I'm going to take Evolution Sage here. I Actually, I'm going to try to try to put some counters on some things. No, well, this pack's pretty bad. Stab Wounds? Mm, stab Wounds could be okay. Field would have been good in this deck. I literally just explained why I don't think it's that great. Like, we literally have to have seven out of eight types. I do like Stab Wound. Izoni could be good. Cartuche. Cartuche. I kind of like Izoni here. Hmm... It's either Izoni or, like, Unbreakable Bond. Let's try the Izoni. Let's see what that does. Watery Grave. Oh, I love a Watery Grave. Give me them good fixins. We also have Prophetic Prism, so if we can find, like, one more land to search out with Golos, we might be able to just activate Golos. Well, the only lands that produce mana are blue and green here, so that's something. Uh, enters battlefield, you mill two cards, and you may return a permanent from your grave to your hand. Let's take that. I like Acolyte.
Exile and enchantment from your graveyard. I don't think we're going to be doing that. Davriel Proliferate could actually be decent. Crocodile is kind of meh. I'm just going to take the Planeswalker. Actually, is Curiosity good for us? We don't have a ton of evasive creatures is the problem. I'm going to take the Davriel. We'll make this quick. I'm bored oh, Collected Company. That's interesting. Uh, return an instant card from your graveyard to hand. Return a sorcery card. And then you just get to copy those dudes. I kind of like Untamed Kavu. Okay, Sulphur Falls is actually pretty decent. We can play it. What do we take over Jang Yangu? We took... Uh... Alright, nine seconds. We have one, two, three, four, five. I mean, maybe feel that it's actually fine now. Oath Sworn Knight, sure. Oh, for bloop. I like it for bloop. Stomping Ground is actually pretty sweet here. Also, we can play the Tranquil Ticket as another way to get Field online. Okay, well. Look at him working. Destiny Spinner is kind of meh. Curiosity is meh. Eyes on, eh? Gravebreaker Lamia might be too cute. What are we putting in the graveyard with this guy? Bio Quartz is actually pretty good. Um, yeah, we can put Multani or Godzilla in the graveyard, which is actually pretty sweet. I mean, we could also put in just, like, a creature and get it back with find. Which is not terrible. I wish I could highlight. I wish I could, like, start, like I wish I could move all these over. But I have to do it one at a time. And then it just moved. Yeah, okay. So that's that's solid. Okay, I kind of because I don't want all my six drops and seven drops to be in the same pile. Uh, this is more like a two drop a lot of the time. I think Thassa's intervention is probably a little bit too cute. Hmm, I do like Davriel Evolution Sage and Kazmina because like being able to just proliferate onto these guys for nothing is pretty good. I don't know if Izoni's any good. How many creatures do we even have? Sixteen. I mean, even if it makes three creatures, though, it's pretty good, right? Because then it's, like, just five, six for six. That lets you sack creatures to... I mean, like, plus if you get it back. I think it's actually a pretty decent engine. Hmm. I don't actually want to cut anything else. And this is 17 lands, right? Yeah, okay, okay. I think we can cut one more thing and go f 40. 41. Excuse me. I don't want to cut either of these because they, they, they go well with Izoni and they go well with. Um... There was another thing they went well with, I forgot what it was. Mokto GG, thanks for saying so, buddy. Oh, Agent Cody Ganks, what up, dude? Long time no see, buddy. What happened to Agent Cody Ganks? I 
kind of just want to take out Stab Moon, to be honest. I don't think it's that great. Is it good? I don't friggin' know, man. Magic is hard. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green sources, four, five, six, seven black sources, and one, two, three, four, five, six blue sources. I mean, that seems pretty good. Plus, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different land types for field. All right, here we go. Guess we'll ship it. Yeah, I'll keep this. This seems good. Um, let's get rid of the Lamia. But I kind of like Evolution Sage into Kazmina. Look at them working. Well, there you go. Take the Golos. Fascinating. Well, that is unfortunate. I have yet to have a seven win deck. I've only done like five of these though. Let's try green white enchantments next. <laughs> I don't even, oh Christ. Yeah, we're keeping Helm because I think we can actually, like, if we actually get to play this, it's pretty game winning. You got it. That was a weird trade, but alright. Because now they kill this guy and then attack for four. This is what I... Like, again, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna keep harping on best of one, but like... Cool. Three lands, no black sources. Seems good. And you just don't get a second chance. That's just one of your losses. Sweet 8-8. Eight, eight. Well, actually, Frick, it's only a 7-7. Seven, seven. It's a two-turn clock. If you drew three lands that could survive at negative seven life, you could cast Moltani and block it and jump block it. That was a fun game one. 
At least we had fun. At least we had fun. Well. Keep it. Hey, little Piper Man. Scattered Grove, Swamp, Clifftop, Castle, Ardenvale. That is a wild assortment of lands. Jesus. Yep. Got him. I mean, how many creatures do we have in here? See, three so far? I mean, like, that's still pretty good. It's us, Lord. My students are loyal and brilliant. Okay. I mean, they have two cards. We get to play Davriel next turn. That's pretty good. Oh, never mind. The sand blowing never actually really bothered me. If you surrender now, I perish the thought.
future. Okay, that's pretty good. Loneliness can hurt. Seems good. Izoni's just getting better and better. Golos! Where do they all belong? Look at those Mike Bees. Michael Bees. Live in the trees. I think we just broke us, our opponent. <laughs> All right, one one. We're doing it. Yeah, sounds fine. Two cantrips and Oracle. Seems good. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. All right, let's see if we can hit a third land. Oh, I didn't know they came in and play tapped. Interestingly enough. Ten. Yep, this is good. Every deck that looks really good just gets utterly fucking destroyed, and it's kind of the worst. Five, six, seven. I'm just gonna block here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then hopefully, I mean, this still our guy still dies, right? Like we still lose our guy from this. Yeah, that's pretty bad.
Block here, take one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, cool. That's gonna be the end of the game. Sand does nothing. But, like, I have three lands, so I'm kind of like, oh, that's good. I don't actually care about Crow Sand Tusker at this juncture. Sam, have a good night, buddy. For being the Tinkerer's Cube, this cube seems less about synergy and more about raw power. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh, good, it has Trample now. Because fuck me, that's why. Like, I mean, the trample is actually just the worst part of this, right? Like, even if we use fine finality, we get a 4 or 5, they get to keep a 9 9, and then we just still die. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, like, even this is only 8 power on board, so it's just still really annoying. I mean, is there anything we could, like, get here? They have no graveyard, we have f one card in our graveyard. Okay, so you're not an option. You're... Multani's a 6-6. Six, six. That doesn't do anything. 
Yep, none of these cards actually do anything against a 9-10. Oh, it's only a 9-9, nine, nine, guys. It's okay, it only has 9. 9 toughness, not 10, so... Well, this is the fastest draft yet, I think. Because <laughs> heaven forbid I had a fucking chance. <laughs> oh. That's a that's one three, right? Yep, cool. That was fun. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys are having a better time with this cube than I am. Uh see you later.